How's it going, Knights of the Round Table? My name is Knight Gamer X, and welcome back to the indie horror game called The Park. And in the last episode, we took a nice little swan ride into hell. So now let's continue on our way, trying to find Callum, our little son bitch, who ran away because of his teddy bear, and he wanted to go back inside. So let's uh Another keep going. Accident. This place. Yeah, there's blood all over the ground. Let's open the door. How you doing? Despite the constant inter inter interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. Oh, there's a bear in there. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I am not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I decided what was needed from the be from the banned writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a re resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to be chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon, I will know if this has all been for nothing. Well, there's blood all inside there, so that's a good sign that we are in a happy, good place. <clears throat> that this is where we want to be. Uh-huh, I hear rustling in the grass and the trees. I, I, this is like the bee's knees. Kill yourself. Yeah, I hear you over there. There's talking, like a radio. That's beautiful. I'm glad I'm playing this. That is pretty. This game is actually really, really pretty, I must say. <laughs> okay, take a little breath. But yeah, this game is actually really, really pretty. Like, look at this. It's a fucking theme park. I mean, I don't like actually going to them myself in real life, because they're, they're just not enjoyable to me. But in this video games, it's really cool. Into my head. Make me dizzy. Hmm. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Witness named Norma Creed. We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making the ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They gave me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion, but as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked it was like a human face, smiling out of the block of ice, but the more you looked at it and the more you saw, there was something not quite right about the proportions, something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were a prey, and that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then, these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments it was chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground, and he was stabbing, st stab, stab, stabbing him with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Okay. But look at the graphics. This game is beautiful. It's like, I, I just read story arc about how the chipmunk guy is a murderer and stuff, but it's just like, I like the graphics and the setting more than anything. Okay, well, can we go in? No? Oh, ride the Octotron. I can't get on while it's moving. Okay, well, here's the controls. I can increase the speed. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds legit. Okay, let's just de keep on decreasing the speed until it stops, I guess. Oh, there's a meter right there. Okay. Maybe one more? There we go. Cool, it's saved. Let's ride this bitch. Whee! Everybody put your hands up in the air. Happy fun times at the theme park! 
Night Gamer theme park. Woo! I can, uh, what? What? Oh, it's going faster. Oh, I don't like it anymore. You can, you can stop it now. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, what the fuck? Holy fucking shit, that's scary. Oh, okay, the chills are real. And they're there. The chills are real and there, and I want it to stop now. All these rides are bad. Anytime I go on any of these rides, I just get bad feelings. Yep. Okay, can we get off now, please? Thank you very much. I mean, the game looks very realistic and all, but I want to get off. Thank you so much. You're so kind to me. Okay. Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. She looks so annoyed. Oh, you see that guy in the background? The top hat guy who was just there. That was gigantic. At this ride. In the water. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, okay. Frustrated by the fact that plans seem incomplete, I know as well as anybody that the rules of the game can be changed with enough money, but no matter how much money talks, it can't conjure up missing plans from thin air. I've tried contacting the organization who sold me these plans, and they were stonewalling me. Every contact that I had, every meeting place that I have wa watched or swept bare. I have a sinking feeling that I have been swindled. We've gone ahead with what we could find with the plans regardless. The harvesting machines, the transport mechanisms, etc. I'll probably let Nicholas name them something cute for one day we open the park. They will be rides after all. Okay, so we can't go over there. Okay. Okay, so I guess we just go on with our day. And never ride any of these rides ever again. Because bad feelings happen. Treachery hides in thoughts. Mm. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. Mm. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought... Is that it? <laughs> we build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Oh, there's something in there. Oh, there's something sitting in there. Okay, that's creepy. Let's read this. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but in the end of the season really here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping. And most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve. See? Even I'm starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamned suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush, as Chad, the chipmunk, child-friendly mascot at Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first, it was a little things like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. But when I saw him at Susie's dinner, still wearing it, Susie's diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even at work day, some of the staff complained discreetly to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puking up in a gutter outside the Psycoil Station. 
because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice, though, they give me this creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell, but of this because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, seizing, sizing me up, eye fucking me, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad, Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again, Laura Hamlin. Okay. Oh, now you're just sitting back at your spot. Yeah, you just stay there. I don't want any of that. I do not want any of that. Nope. Nope. Oh, you're the thingy of the ride. You're the ride. You're the Cthulhu, Cthulhu monster. Okay, bye. Callum, where'd you go? Who the fuck whispers that? You can't catch me. I know where you live. I can smell you. Okay. Constant crashes in 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to basically like try and find like all these notes and read them. Because I'm really interested in this story. I really, really am. But also I don't want episodes to drag on for too long. That would be kind of boring. But nevertheless. <clears throat> I'm really enjoying this game, so far. Okay, so where do I go? I guess the one with lights on is a hint. Yeah, this game looks so realistic. It really does. It's kind of creepy. Examined accident report. Francis Dufresne. 25th October 1976. A year, a year before. The park opened. Working on a crane, Lawrence Creed, Michael Edgeworth. Brief description of the accident or incident. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the traps attached to the load of the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the car. Francis was killed. Dexter, the truck driver, claimed he had seen... He has seen someone on the back of the load, undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff have, has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. <laughs> Double checking if the straps after the transit should be mandatory and, dra and drug screenings for all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Huh. The local laborers are very superstitious and this hasn't helped. Some of them refuse to return to work until we have someone from the local church walk the park and exercise the bad spirits. What? Oh, isn't that lovely? Let's not go that way. Because I saw this little shack up here and I want to explore it. I'm an exploring little man. I like to explore things. But yes, I will go I will go to your stairs here in a moment, okay? Okay. Dissuade them. They have sent in an inspector to investigate the accidents at the park. I've given him a grand tour and spoken about all the safety upgrades, but it's he seems unconvinced. In this case, the park itself is working against me. This dour man has become more and more interactable the more time he spends in the park. I've offered to pay for his stay in the Overlook Hotel to get him out of here. It seems to have made him even more paranoid. I don't think this man is going to allow my park to stay open. This is a disa disaster for my ultimate goals. Okay. Mm Can I use this? No. Oh, it's broken. I can't go down. 
What? Okie dokie. Well, that was just more story. Which is good. I like more story. So they had somebody come and like investigate everything. But it didn't really do anything. And like, it sounded like the guy wanted to shut the place down. Which is good, because this place is fucked up. And I don't even know why I'm here. To be honest. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Hmm? Once, when Callum was very small, Ready. I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Hmm. Okay, well I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, this was another great episode of the park. I'm really, really enjoying this game. I really am. It's... So far, a um, really great experience. I love the backstory, I love the graphics, and I love the gameplay. It's very simplistic, but I like it. So, thank you, Knight, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please remember to hit the like button and also subscribe to become a Knight of the Round Table today. And as always, I will see you guys later. Maybe somebody is here with me. Maybe it's a friend. I am lying. I know it's not. I know it's not. Shh. Shit! What is that? Okay, let's not look at that for too long. That's great. That's awesome. Ha, handy dandy notebook. I love video games. Okay, giving me chills.